hide from the wind and run from the water. It's a tried and true saying on the Gulf Coast during hurricane season. Colleen Peterson breaks down storm surge and how a storm named Sally made us all look at this threat in a new way. Storm surge, the most destructive part of a hurricane. It can cause devastating impacts and it happens very quickly. Uh, you can go from almost no water to 20 to 30 feet of water in a couple of minutes. It is the water level rise associated with a hurricane driven by low pressure and strong winds. That does not include waves. You could have two to three foot waves on top of that, and it does not include um, any other outside factors. Like rainfall, heavy rain can contribute to water level rise that storm surge does not consider. Hurricane Sally saw a significant water level rise on the bay side. Well, the water came up to about right here this year, um, and we expected it to come probably right about here. Um, and so it was definitely a surprise walking in. Sammy is a manager at Gulf Shore Seafood. Hurricane Sally to her was unforgettable. Lost, you know, pretty much everything, everything in our kitchen, everything out here. Um, you know, you try to be as prepared as you can. When it comes to water level rise, we're concerned with two things, storm surge and heavy rainfall. I'm about 10 yards away from Gulf Shore Seafood. This restaurant actually lies on the bay side, so they're not only concerned with storm surge at the immediate coast, but all of the runoff from the heavy rainfall that can cause water levels to new heights. You might not think, hey, storm surge isn't that big of an issue, but it's almost like you're getting river flooding and storm surge on top of each other. Which leaves residents and business owners that live right on the bay surprised. Not at all, not a single bit. Um, you know, we expected maybe like a foot or two foot. I was very shocked about, um, you know, how much flood we had in here and how much damage it actually did. Um, I think everyone around here didn't realize how bad it was actually going to be. This season, make sure you consider not only the storm surge forecast, but the rainfall forecast as well. Reporting in Gulf Shores, meteorologist Colleen Peterson, WKRG News 5.